Mission won't you give this thing a try? If you can't and you fail, you won't be the only loser. These kids don't stand a chance with you in their future. Hell yeah. We're back. Folks. We have uh, quite a lot of crazy shit to talk about tonight. Uh, just with Jason alone, yeah, the first topic of discussion. Yeah. Like, But before we get started, if anyone out there could just, you know, pray for me and send me like 20 or $30. I think yeah. the problem is, uh, you know, I just keep having tire blowouts. Um, <laughs> Dude. I really like this comment right here. Rev really needs dignity if anyone can donate some. <laughs> anyone have any dignity to spare? That was fucking great. Yeah, all right. Let me uh, let me get this shit up. Because, yeah, Rev, uh, to the surprise of nobody, Rev released another fucking e-begging video. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's up Shock of all shocks, right? <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know. I think there's a there's a fat photog video that was released recently. Uh, you know, n not the Grampy one, but one, the one before that. I don't know if we watched that one on the show, but uh, we, can, uh, we can maybe yeah. watch that one too. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, um, yeah I'll check it out. But first, we'll check out this because it's only three minutes long anyway. And uh, I, wow, I feel like this is just like almost saying as little as like Jason's begging again. But Jason's looking rough lately. Like he's looking, looking, looking especially fucking rough lately, and. Uh, oh, is this the video where the? It, yeah, see, here's the thing. This is why it's so interesting. You say that Jason's looking rough, and I agree with you. However, it's dark in the room, and we can still tell 
like like look at this what is this the shape of what kind of war crime are we looking at right here? <laughs> i don't know what i'm looking at here man he's going with like the ma- mad scientist vibe i guess <laughs> silhouette of an atrocity yeah seriously is this like a fucking chimera like what the fuck am i looking at <laughs> some arcane monstrosity or some shit dude hey it's that time of the year right i guess so right rev you've shit. disappointed your mother and your uncle I believe seppuku is in order in Minecraft. Well, Sh- Shandy's fucking last name is this fucking Dornbush, right? Is this like fucking like Frankenstein's monster's monster? Is this Dornbush's fucking monster right here? This is the fucking <laughs> this is the fucking monster that she's created to wreak upon the populace. Uh, I think Jason's more like the bride of Dornbush. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Damn. Shit. All right. Shandy well. says I'm I'm the woman now. Here. Let's see what he fucking has to say. Hey guys, God bless you. Uh, it's Rev here. Uh, um, first of all, I want to thank everybody that's helped us because you're the reason we have our medicine. You're the reason that we've been able to 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 get food in this place at oh, everything. Here. Have people act because I. I haven't been keeping up too much, but have a significant amount of people actually been donating to these two fucking schlubs? I mean, I'm not, I, I guess I'm not totally aware, but um, there had, there's, there's been some donations. I, I, I know that. Um, I thought I all those were going to go as, away. Like as well, soon I, as the kids went away, you know, like, I don't think it's quite as much as they're putting out there, but I mean, they're, they've got to be surviving subsisting. somehow yeah that's true they gotta be subsisting on something because they can't get fucking food stamps they can't get well, they, any fucking government help right because they, they say they do have food stamps but they also claim that nowhere in the area will take them um and that's bullshit g-man of all people called them out on that saying there was like a dollar general across the street from where they are that takes it oh yeah speaking of that like shanny said something really crazy because i was looking at her twitch for some content because you know i mean uh you know x hasn't been archiving for a while she's taking a break uh, and, you know, so I've been having to do some digging on my own and, uh, I found like check out the, icon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll check. I K O N. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Someone else. Good to see someone else taking up the torch at least in the meanwhile. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like I, I was doing some of my own fucking research and the, like the intro video, which I think is just like her latest stream. Shani was like on Twitch, like talking about how like apparently fucking G man throughout all of her, all of her fucking clothes. Uh, yeah, I did. I caught that actually. Yeah, she, she made that fucking claim. We can take a look at that later because she says a bunch of crazy fucking shit in that. We'll maybe take a look at that after this. But yeah, yeah, she's been saying crazy shit on Twitch, going against G Man. Like, I thought that, that was like the only fucking like consistency that was. I, I, I feel like Shani and G Man getting along has been more consistent than Shani and Rev getting along for like a long time. So I, I didn't mean, think yeah. that, that was going to change for a while. But other than the uh, the the whole deal with the house originally back a year or so ago, where they gave him the house and kicked him out, and the whole hobo fire thing, other yeah. than that, they've act, yeah they've uh, they've kind of got along famously. Uh, what with using G Man and all, but oh, apparently right. since that's not a case anymore, uh, yeah, time to time to fight and bicker. Jesus Christ, yeah, it's the exact same fucking thing that Shani did to Rev. Like once you've outlived your fucking usefulness, I'm gonna treat you like trash. It's fucking ridiculous. Everything. They, they, they need to know that they're actual pill bottles. So oh. Don't show anything like those. Well, I, you really can't see anything, but there's the <laughs> oh, pill bottles. All right, let's see if I can get a better look at that. It's fucking well, peels, folks. I, you really can't see it. All right. Yeah. What do we have here? Pills, <laughs> I guess, like. <laughs> but, they, mm, the shanty wonder. in the background they need to know that they're in pill bottles bitch you could just put whatever you wanted to into any random empty pill bottle yeah that could be fucking buds in there for all i fucking know it could be anything right these these fuckers are crackheads they hang on to pill bottles after they're they've done Outlive being useful. useful yeah 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 they put cigarettes in there and shit for no reason <laughs> i'm gonna put the the shorts out in here yeah exactly fucking disgusting Oh, Jesus Christ. Anything, but there's the pill bottles. We don't, I cannot see jack shit because it's, <laughs> it's pitch fucking black. <laughs> so this hotel has E. coli in the water and no power. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm that's mostly in up. the dark, but that's appropriate because 
that's good. I mean, it, you guys have been a blessing. That's all I could tell you. you guys... What? How's that make it appropriate? What? <laughs> you it, fucking bullshit artist. That was the worst segue I've ever heard in my life. They have been. Um, because you're the reason that we are, we've been able to... Just... Oh, by the way, yeah, I, I forgot to mention this. If anyone wants the fucking link, you know, I see some, you know, I see some, I see some chill fucking people in the chat. If anyone wants the fucking link who's, you know, been on here before, you know, feel free to reach out and I'll shoot you the fucking link. Uh, just let me know where you, where to reach you. Unless, you know, it's, unless we, we talk to each other on a regular basis, then I guess you already fucking know where we're going to reach even you. get food. Because it's very tough here at, at the place we're at. They do not take EBT cards. So it's, it's difficult. So, and also, I'll, I'll, here's a little update for you. The thing that happened with my Durango tire happened again. I was on I was on eighty one. Do you man. think Jason's trying to buy like hot food and, on the EBT uh, card and they're like no? Because yeah, I think that's what they're the trying conditions. to do. Because like I thought they were already familiar. Like weren't they like always talking about how they loved getting taken bakes when they had fucking you know this type of shit back in like fucking Colorado? Oh yeah, she spent a large portion of his inheritance on DoorDash. Yeah, yeah, like. They got a lot of fucking shit like that, too. So, like, they know it exists. So, I don't know what the fucking deal is here, man. I really don't... It, it doesn't line up, but does anything really ever line up with these guys until, like, a month later when you find out what the real fucking thing that they were trying to, like, form a narrative around? I'd say they're just being lazy, not wanting to cook things, but hearing from Rev, and I'll quote, we don't have a vessel to cook in. Uh, you mean you finally changed the link? Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> There, there is still that old link, but because of how, like, because I run the show directly through StreamYard, it's how I'm used to doing fucking streams. Uh, yeah, there is a different link for this stream in particular. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you, if you, you know, it, I, you just ask me for the fucking link, I can get you a link real mm -hmm. fucking easy. And I think I already sent you a link on on Discord mud, so you can come in here if you want. Um, yeah. Uh, see, I'm pretty convinced now, guys, that what's going on is that it's an issue with a bent rim i think i think from when that thing happened in st louis that you guys saw because that was streamed i think it bent he's talking about right the train tracks rim yeah he's talking about that shit, dude he's bringing that shit up again Wait, no we didn't even mention that he's the one bringing that up and I don't know why. Yeah, that's that's not but something that if I were you, I would I would bring up like ever again, Jason. Well, that, probably the most pathetic moment in his life. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't yeah, bring that well, up. Well, that's that's a. Whew. It's in the running, though, right? Yeah, it's in the running, but oh, man, to narrow down the single most pathetic moment of Jason's life is wow. That's a task. Uh, all right. Well, what what else do you think? What immediately comes to mind that that brings that into contention? Like, what do you think is more pathetic um, than that? Because that's pretty bad. Being right? forced to shave his head haphazardly and eyebrows on camera for talking to bots on Facebook. Okay, that you're right, but that didn't involve abuse pathetic. of a child. That's true, but he didn't stream that part. Okay, that's true. Damn, we're having like a debate about this at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. What are the, what are the finer points of Rev's disgustingness? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's the most disgusting thing about Rev? I get a wheel on it. Over time, it's messing up the tire on the inside. So it's like that needs a major repair. But yeah, we're out of. I could, it definitely can't be that you're driving intoxicated again, like we've seen you do several times in the past, and you know. And brag about it. Okay. Right, and. Yeah. It, Jason, you're a fuckwit. Not where we're at. It's it's on the side of the road on 81. So, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't even have the car anymore. Very it's it's you know, on the side of the road. Happening. But but like we're still surviving somehow. So the Somehow? Main... Wow, I what mean, a great thing to say about your existence, my dude. That's an understatement. Somehow. It like I didn't even I, I don't even believe in miracles, but the fact that you specifically, Jason, are still alive, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. May, you know what? Maybe God is real. Purpose of this video is to just sincerely he just hates ask Jason. Yeah, he just hates prayer. Jason. That's the only thing I'll uh, intervene we on. Need prayer that the Lord guide our steps and that the opportunities that we need are put there. And uh, specifically pray for our, our abilities to, 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 to get health care stuff like like disability type thing, because that's that's been an ongoing process. But it's always you get to a doctor and then oh, you see that neck thing. 
Oh yeah, I, I saw the silhouette of the neck thing. Yeah, let's, let, let me just see that neck. That neck there. was thinning. Yeah, yeah. Let me see that. Oh shit. Let me. Oh shit. Damn. Let me see that in slow motion. Ooh. Yeah. Let me get. Let me see that. But as always, you get to a doctor, and then they just tell you, "Oh, we'll come back next month." Then come back. Or come back in three Damn, months. I think I think now, I think I fucking missed the neck they, thing. They you. God damn it! I missed the fucking whatever. Whatever. We we got to hear him we got to hear him fucking talk like a drone for five seconds. That's good enough pump. Well three months from the time you've seen a doctor. So it's extremely difficult right now and, and we need Jesus to intervene. Extremely and difficult. Start working for us. <laughs> oh, he did the neck thing again. You see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah How all right. is anything extremely like difficult when you apply zero effort? How is that? I have no idea. How, how are you gauging the difficulty here if you don't <laughs> fucking care? Everybody that's helped us your continued support is is really what's making us survive. Stop it. God bless everything. Anyone everybody out there who is giving off. these two <laughs> fucking nincompoops money, yeah, I'm going to dust that one off. Anyone stop who's giving them them money, them money, stop yeah. it. Yeah, stop enabling these people. They're literally the fucking some of the worst that you can find. Why would you give them your money? Why wouldn't like, don't you have, like, friends or family that you care about? Would yeah. you want to give them the money instead, too? You, you want to throw money away? away? Give, give it to it us. Up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. It's a good What's up, Mud? Yeah. Oh, not, not much. much. Am I echoing? I think, I think we're good now. Yeah, no, we're All good right. now. We're good now. Yep. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, as if Rev has any friends. Oh, yeah, no. That's, uh... They're a mythological creature, just like elves. Or... Yeah, who the fuck could hang out with that on a, on a regular basis? All right. Um, so, Brian, I feel like you should be able to identify this immediately upon seeing it and know whether or not you've seen it yet or not. So I'm just going to show you the first frame, and you tell me if you've seen this or not. I've seen it. You've seen it? I've, I've seen it, but I don't think we've watched it on the show. All right, it's only a minute long, so let's play it on the show anyway. Uh, cause it's fucking, it's irrelevant to what we just watched. I'm literally like delirious because it's been almost, uh, it, it's been around 14 days or something since Foods. we had actual food. Foods. And, um, Foods. I'm just pleading, uh, the blood of Jesus. And also I'm asking, please, for, could, could someone help me? Because I'm at an end and Shani's at an end. She's hungry too. We're, we're oh, what a surprise! Shanny's <laughs> fucking hungry. <laughs> Damn. When, when uh, did the hunger cease? Like I, I just assumed she was always hungry, Rev. The never-ending hunger. Uh, uh, thank you. Five dollars, fit and curvy. Here's some money for the stuff and themes. Well, thank you very much. I Fuck yeah. It. Yeah. I'm sure we'll I know use Fitz, that for something uh, productive. Fitz a big fan of the themes. And 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 stuff, yeah, as well have no food okay that's what this is for it's for ha. just food so if somebody could find it in themselves to help me out the address is right down there you see it and i would really <laughs> i really appreciate it i'm that broke my immersion because like i never could believe that rev could make an actual you know corporation <laughs> like that's a lot of fucking paperwork to make well, it he, official he's also nowhere near as beloved as oscar that's true, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Immersion shattered. Like I'm passing out. Level. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm dizzy and lightheaded. Anything, what is anything you can Jesus. do would be a huge help. Thank you very much. God bless you. Don't send him anything. He's got Fuck raw ramen. Fuck my dick. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, fucking nasty. Right. I'm dizzy. Oh, We're gonna watch Jules. Oh, well, you know, we got yeah. something else on the menu, actually. We got something else. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So let me see. What are we gonna? Look? I we should probably. So yeah. Since we're talking about Jason, we should probably talk about the one Shanny thing that I at least have here prepared right now. Because yeah, as soon as you fire up her Twitch, you you, you find you find this. It should. I, I hope it's the same fucking video that I. Yeah, it seems like it is. 
Yeah, you find this video of her complaining about fucking G-Man, and I've just, it's shit I've never fucking heard before, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, she did uh, do a stream this morning. Oh, yeah, nine hours ago, huh? I, I thought she was saying, like, that her she didn't have good enough internet to do this fucking shit. It's half-assed. Uh, well, I mean, didn't, yeah, she, <laughs> didn't she die of a blood clot last week? Uh, yeah, Sunday, right? I think so. Oh, look at this oh my god look at this overlay how professional Jesus, that's a huge ghost we're watching yeah. like look I know that we're not the most professional looking show in the world but <laughs> look at this man what is that comic sans I yeah like it. it literally is I, I fucking hate this handle that she uses Shani needs love fucking disgusting <laughs> uh, Shani needs parenting classes. Oh wait, too late. What a what a fucking self congratulatory fucking username to fucking have. Uh, but when I get decent internet, I'm gonna be like streaming. You're like, not fucking mad making money for the fam. But you got to make money first to do that. You know, you get that part right. Even when you had good internet and all the fucking money in the world, you weren't making good fucking money from streaming. The only time. How long do you think she's going to last on Twitch if she starts streaming with any regularity before they boot her, too? I'm surprised that she's lasted this fucking long on Twitch. Like, I'm I, always surprised by how, how long she fucking lasts. I think it's mostly been because up until, like, the last month, she's just been doing those gameplay videos where she just sits in complete silence playing the most boring games. Yeah, but now she caved in and started doing actual, like, herself streams. And that's 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 a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Well, you know, she if she started doing uh hot tub videos, she what? probably you know she would probably never get banned. They don't throw any of them chicks off Twitch. Oh no, they don't. It's got its own uh, sub category now. All yeah. right, don't give her any ideas because like I don't want to see Shannon in a fucking hot tub. No, I mean you I know she could, could get yeah, one. Yeah, like she could get a hot tub. That's a fair point. Yeah, I just thought about that. You like, can't she... even get big in a bathtub, let alone a hot tub. Jesus, what you... we're not gonna summon this. We're not gonna talk this into existence. What are you talking about? Yeah, she'd get like in a heated pool and call that a bathtub, and it still wouldn't. She just turns on the hot water. Yeah. Swim around in the E. coli for all the <laughs> Twitch viewers. Yeah. I gotta make. I gotta get you know enough for my hotel fare for tonight, or else the stream has failed. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Jason's on the street corner. <laughs> yeah. And they Damn. both had jobs. Yep. Damn! Can you imagine that? Make money for my family, and this internet isn't very working very well, so I can make money for my family. <laughs> so what I family? What? Yeah. What family would that be, Shanny? Damn, she acts like she's fucking Walter White doing all this fucking shit for her fucking yeah. family. Like, <laughs> you don't have kids, you don't have a husband. What family is this? You yeah, speak what of? family? Oh, oh, like because of what? You have four stomachs. You you have a fucking family. I'm like, I'm so I'm sorry, it's not true. Yeah. Just feeding F Shanny is feeding a family of four, so you, yeah, you may have a point. A fair point. Yeah. All right, uh, Philly guy, stop giving them money. Winter is coming, in, and I want to see you Rev cut Shanny's stomach open, sleep in it for warmth. Folks, I live in my wife. Ton, ton, that ass. Yeah, it's a good suggestion. Thank you for the five dollar reduce. I can take a fucking shower and I can buy some fucking clothes. Do it. Like yeah. you would even fucking do that if you had access to fucking water. Like she... we all know, like that you can't stand up. But they were fucking loaded in uh, in in Colorado, yep. and Never they were still shower. gross. Yeah. They were probably and... even more disgusting back then because they didn't have a care in the world. Yeah, and she had a shower and clothes. Still couldn't pull it GM off. Because GM threw them all fucking away, that fucking piece of shit. He threw my clothes away. Probably because they were fucking, fucking rotting, for that. and they had a bunch of fucking, like, shit stains on them, and, and a number of other reasons. Like, I guarantee you that the reason why G-Man did that shit, even though it's fucking G-Man, it was probably just because it, your clothes were fucking full of fucking shit. And they left them. At the house, just like they left all that shit in, in Colorado. Yeah. Yep. I hate all the shit he's done. Frankly. Oh, what, including well. fucking paying anyway. for the fucking food for you and your fucking family? G-Man's the only one. He's <laughs> G-Man's been providing for, like, your fucking kids 
or he was actually providing more fucking food for your fucking kids than any of you were fucking rev were. I would say keeping a roof over their head, but there was a, probably a large hole in said roof, so... Yeah, true. You know, a partial roof, which I guess is worth fucking, you know, be better than nothing on some fucking level. But, yeah, like, that's the fucking thing. It's like G-Man showed more fucking responsibility in taking care of them than either of these fucking two. And that's Daddy why... Gary. And that's what I don't understand, and I, I, I will continue to say this, because I don't understand why people would give them a fucking cent. I understand why people are sending them money to some extent when they still have the kids, just because they were like, here, you have to give this to get the kids money, and, like, they would make them show it on the screen and everything. It's like, yeah, you know, sure, I get that on some of them. But now the kids aren't here. Like, you cannot be paying for these fucking two. There's no reason to give them any fucking money. Let them figure out their own fucking bullshit. Let them actually fucking do something with their lives for the first fucking goddamn time and actually try. It's fucking yeah. pathetic. The moment I realized there was no point in giving money to them, even like in the, in the hopes that they would help with the kids, was when I saw Shani lick all the icing off of uh, cupcakes on one of the kids' birthdays, and then tell Rev to go give them the uh, saliva cake. I disagree. If it was, if I had the spare cash, I would send them just enough to be not quite enough, just to prolong their suffering that much more. I just, I just want to see them on the streets first, you know. I, I just want to get there. Yeah, I, I gotta admit that is pretty appealing, uh, especially bucks, Biggin. Uh, science geek. Uh, I bet she left her clothes there to get back in. Oh, geez, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair she enough. can always follow the smell. And Thank you find her much. way back home. It's two bucks. Okay. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because of Negs, and I'm offended by him. Um, I, I mean, shouldn't everybody be offended by his existence? Like, let's be honest. Went on his his live stream today, thinking, you know, he's probably talking about Miss Hussy, and and you know what? He was he was talking mm -hmm. about fucking Miss Hussy again. Now, he was talking about I've fucking Miss Hussy. What I've seen of Miss Hussy is, yeah, knowing Negs probably. He's a very if he was actually honest with himself, that's what he would be fucking saying on stream. Did it Sweet. was the stream anything like this? I, suck a dick. I, suck a dick. I think it was exactly like that, yeah. That's what's up. In New York that likes to perform and and do drag. And I love it. I I love the character Miss Hussy. But there is another person behind that. The, the makeup and the glam you know there's a nice human a nice person like come on say oh, human man. Uh, man i i was hoping that she would fucking say the, the line you know yeah if i was miss hussy i'd be like okay can you stop like the last thing i want from you is like a a, a character <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> don't and don't, don't me, me yeah. Up. yeah yeah exactly yeah Oh man, that's the worst thing I could possibly imagine. Like, well, imagine getting to that point in your life where you're getting an endorsement from Shani. Like, you made some wrong turn somewhere. You just don't yeah. know exactly where it is, maybe. I'm going to have to send her a strongly like, worded email. Uh, maybe yeah. five minutes before I was like, this is absolutely disgusting. Miss Hussey's stream? I was there the whole time because Miss Hussey was actually making content. Miss Hussey was actually going out there and, and showing New York around and, and showing the food and the culture. And it was wonderful. It was beautiful. And this is the man you're making fun of. Someone who actually puts out decent content. Oh. Come Gold on, bars. Man. Give me something, internet. Thank you. So... You just listen a little bit further in his live stream and he's talking about not only he's talking about these guys, you know, members. And it's like, guys, people really need to stop. I don't like how she says members talking about other people's genitalia. That is sexual harassment. And I don't care if you're straight and you're doing it to another straight guy. It's still sexual harassment harassment and if you were in any other job you would be fired i so, would fire you if i was your boss i would so so we're not going to bring up the fact that you graped rev over there while his brain was slip sliding around inside of his fucking skull 
Yeah, imagine if all the people who knew about that fucking shit and donated to Shan like imagine I'm sorry, all the people who donated to Shannon knew about that shit. I guarantee you that she would have less donations. Like, and the funny thing is is she's sitting here once again trying to make it out to sound like YouTube or Twitch is a workplace. Okay, well if that's the case, then we actually heard you grape rev on stream during that uh time period. So if that's the case, then by your own words, your your banning is totally justified, right, Shannon? Mm-hmm. Everything is just right. fire you on the spot. You can go clock out and leave. That's how I am when I'm in management. Okay, I don't <laughs> deal with that, and I won't. <laughs> You've never oh, no. Fuck man, management. She managed to make a sandwich at Subway once. <laughs> yeah, what an accomplishment, dude. Couldn't Girl, manage right? to retain custody of her children. Nope deal with that bullshit because there's laws to to establish for this stuff not to happen but yet it's so readily happening on google youtube twitch it, it, it's happening regularly talking about people's bodies like they own them or something and like they have a right to speak about how someone looks it's so gross, you know? And, so when's the last time you asked to see so Drag's BBC, Shani? Yeah. Does, uh, rem does anybody remember the video of Shani okay. swearing up and down that she doesn't have a double chin? Like, I think it was... I forget who she was talking about, but uh, see, I don't have a double chin, and she's trying to do the fat girl angle shot. Yeah. You know, <laughs> But she couldn't keep her arm up long enough. And as you watch the video over the course of about three minutes, the camera angle slowly sinks down and gets even more and more of her double and triple and the uh, chin under her chin, under the third chin. Before long, <laughs> all of her chins are on full display and she's still rambling on. I don't have a double chin, see? I mean, technically, she, it's not a double. It's like a quad down there, you know? That's when she's going to get fucking superpowers, when she gets her fucking infinity chin. <laughs> oh, Stay man. Tuned, well, she's yeah. she's she's going to fucking snap her fainers, and the next thing you know, we're all going to be gone. Uh, you know, so I see uh, since uh, you know some, some new people have popped in since the last mention, I do want to say, you know, uh, the lettuce, as always, you know, we open this shop to quite a lot of people. If anyone wants to hop in here, just... Uh, just ask and I'll drop you a fucking link. We'll get you a fucking link. Out. Except you, the person thinking about it right now, yeah, not except you. For, except for you right there. So. You can fuck off. Everybody else, you're welcome. You, you know I can go nasty. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've seen your, uh, and never mind. I'm not gonna Months without that. a shower tend to do that. Yeah. No, no bathing ritual in quite some time. Nope. I'm going to do it this one time. All you could get is a 60-year-old woman. Isn't that sexual harassment, talking about yeah. somebody's uh, sexuality that's exactly, that's like exactly that? exactly what you were just oh. saying you shouldn't do, yeah. Abortions, Abortions are, us. are us. We're better, We're than, better, code better than code hangers, hangers folks. folks. If only Shani... Never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> and you're 45. So don't even talk about who can get someone and not when you literally have a 60 year old woman and you're 45 you i mean wanna be i mean so okay damn you know but... 15 years doesn't make quite as much difference you know when one of you is 60 and the other is 45 as it does when one of you is 30 and the other is 15. well what <laughs> well, what if uh what if one of you is uh wet brained and the other one is mo morbidly obese? What about that? Is that a dream relationship scenario? I guess so. I guess fucking so. Jesus. All right, well that's I haven't done a ton of exploring of her fucking channel. So yeah, it seems like there's actually some like some short clips that have been made here. Yeah, all right, we'll take we'll take a look at this later. But, um, you know, there's a couple other things I want to take a look at tonight. But, yeah, variety is the fucking spice. A thing or two. Yeah. And, um, there was something in here that I wanted, uh, one of my uh, Maiden's co-hosts to maybe talk about. But they're at least in the chat, so they can take, can take a look around. 
what this guy has to say. That this is this is a guy that I've never fucking seen before, but he's definitely what I'd consider to be a lol cap. Apparently, he's le- he's legit. Apparently, he is like not just fucking trolling or anything like that. So let's take let's take a look. This is on Right Wing Watch. This this guy is actually fucking insane. We hear oftentimes mainstream conservatives talk about radical feminized, uh, radical feminism as being a threat to the United States. I disagree. I think feminism in general is a threat to the United States. Not radical feminism, but feminism in any way, shape, or form. People say, well, I'm sort of like, you know, I'm like the 1920 feminist. You know, I believe women should any have Any way, to vote. shape, or form? No. Yeah, he doesn't even think women should have the right to vote. Right, so like even on just a, just a definitional... Uh, you have a you have an issue with just equality between sexes because like you, yeah if you're yeah. just narrowing it down to that to its bare bones you say any level then holy fuck that was evil too he gets that worse. was terrible Our why does he look like a twilight vampire I, yeah oh my god that's a really good observation this filter's not helping this filter is not fucking helping in this background and all that shit like damn. bitch I bet you won't step out in the sunlight I want to yeah, see you sparkle. Too. Once women got the right to vote, that's evident. It's it's literally you just look at the timeline of how things have happened. The way women vote, they they vote, vote uh, mostly based on looks and compassion <laughs> and empathy, without taking into account wait, logical wait, on <laughs> empathy. <laughs> compassion wait. and empathy are, are bad things. Those now. are bad yeah. traits. Yeah, uh, what? fuck the rest of you. I, right, you can all kiss ass. Oh my god, that's such a big fucking tell. Like, you know, saying that we don't think women deserve the right to vote is a massive tell, too. But, <laughs> but like, Jesus fucking Christ. Edward Mullen over here. Yeah, uh, fuck. Reasoning and without taking people's policy decisions into account, women are dumb voters. Women have a place <laughs> in society. God damn. Damn, he just comes out and fucking says that shit. Like, damn. That's fucked up, man. And that place is in the home. That place is being subservient to their husbands. That place is looking to the husband <laughs> as Jesus looks to God. What? I thought, I thought they were the same person. Wait, that's that's some like it's some incest, complicated. That's some incestual type of bullshit there. Like Jesus, literally. The Pac-Man oh, ghost is there too. To- yeah. Oh shit! Hey, we got my friend. What's up, Hyun? How are you doing tonight? Oh. Yeah, welcome, 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 fucking board. What do you think of this guy? What do you think, cool? I think I he's think absolutely right. right. Yo, you think he's right? Yeah, echo, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, yeah, yeah. No it's more echo. This oh, country dude. has gone nowhere but downhill since we gave them women to vote. Dude, Brand, I think it's been like over a year since like StreamYards had this issue. Are they just uh, not going to change it? It. <sighs> I don't know. It seemed like it's it it slacked off for a while, but it's it's bad. It slacked off. They didn't fix it. It just slacked <laughs> off. <laughs> it's like sometimes it would work, you know. Damn. Shit. Well, goddamn. All right. Let's say what. Jesus. This is how. All right, sexist Eddie Munster. What's up? What was supposed to be developed? The facts of the matter are: women are dumber than men. Women should be subservient to men. Women have no place in male activities. Women have no place if we're taking in the workforce. Women have no place if we're taking in politics. Women have no place outside of the home. The home is a virtuous place for women. Women should be happy when they but are. This spaz does. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, guy, I know, right? This guy Dude. over here freaking the fuck out of her basic decency. Yeah, involve him in government. Uh, security monitor delusion. Why is the 16 year old talking about voting? Yeah, but this guy yeah, can't he's... even fucking vote. Like, <laughs> I think he's obviously never been in the same room as a woman, much less actually. Like, yeah, talk to one. Uh, yeah, I mean, this boy, this boy is a 35 year old virgin. Well, he's probably about 22, but. Why you so basically, basically, yeah, yeah, hang me, on, hang basically, on. Basically, Mud, what you're telling me is this is his favorite song. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So, roof over our head and supplies the family with food and resources and energy and structure. Energy. That is what women should.
Dude, you're the most low energy dude that I've seen doing this type of shtick in quite a while, honestly. So that's hey, well, hey, 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 hang, hang, hang the hang the fuck on. What? This guy's what? name is Dalton Claudfelter. Yeah, his name is Dalton. He, 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 he popped out of his fucking, fucking mother's mother snatch pipe with that, that fucking name. name. <laughs> yeah, Dalton Claude. Uh, sounds, sounds like you're like still there. there. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. Damn it. Yeah, because right, you came back in. Jesus Christ! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking clawed feather. Five bucks. To, five bucks. Five bucks says the next thing out of his mouth is the one and only social program the government should have is issuing him a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Right. Gentlemen, a lot of you are going to be very upset with this. A lot of people are going to. Oh, say he's about to say it. <laughs> he, he's he's gonna say it. He's gonna look, say the thing. Look at that face. Look at that fucking thing. Loading it up. <laughs> that fucking vacant stare. I'm uh, charging my laser. I'm about to say something completely fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, you can tell 100%. How dare he talk about women that way? Oh, yeah. Does he not have a daughter? Would he talk to his wife this way? Blah, 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 blah. You're losing huh? your mind over the truth, over facts, over logic, over reason. You're losing your mind over the word of God. The Bible calls women to... Yeah, those things don't go together. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's how, what I want to know is how many fucking cue cards and teleprompters does this moron have? He's constantly looking down in front of him. He's looking down and to the left. He's looking up to the side. Like <laughs> yep. he's got his notes sticky taped all over the motherfucking place. I, 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 everywhere except for where it should be. Yeah. No, no, no. What he, what, what, what happened is, is that his mom pinned his notes to his fucking shirt. Yep. Oh, the, the Bible to be a prick. women to be subservient <laughs> to their husbands. Yeah, the only woman that he's ever interacted with in his entire life, and even then, she's not a huge fan of him. But she just wants him to, look, you yeah. know, move out of the house. So you know, it's all right. You know. Yeah, Nags' his grandma men feels you. Leaders, men are just better. Men are awesome. I, uh, I, no, <laughs> no, no, wow. I that that is that is demonstrably false. Damn. A firm yes. believer in the patriarchy. I am a I'm a misogynist. Dude, you could definitely claim. Yeah, that. you are a misogynist. Say I'm a sexist. Absolutely. I don't know, Dave. This guy maybe he's the new lord of patriarchy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Step aside, Dave. Yeah, dude. Uh, but, I'd love you know, to see Dave has... react to this guy. Like, would Dave think that this guy's too go too far? Or would Dave just be like, you know what? This guy's saying what needs to be said. Dalton Claude Feathers, my new fucking go to Claude Felter. Uh, yeah, what a fucking Claude. He is fucking. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, he is. He he has made an important first step, though, and he admitted men are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah, hear that? Frank, he's, he's stepping out of the closet. Why don't you? Yeah, he's he's one of those conservatives who has really a, a wide stance in the men's <laughs> bathroom down at the airport. Yeah, toe tapping in a shit stall. Yeah. I have a wide stance. So uh, yeah, speaking of, uh, I gotta oh, assert my shit? dominance. Needs to bring somebody. Needs to bring a cute young man along to lift his luggage. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the fucking uh, the Lord of Patriarchy. Oh boy! Oh yeah! I, yeah. I'm in it now. Oh, we got some, we got some shorts. So yeah, in in the fucking title, I don't know if you saw, but it says "Lord of Patriarchy hates families," and, and he fucking he hates, hates he hates nurses, he hates women, he hates, he hates families. feminism, he hates he's he's like an old man yelling at clouds now. All right, well let's see what he has to say about families. Oh boy! You know, there's something I wonder. Wait, wait, pause. Why does the? Oh yeah, what? I I was I was gonna fill in. There's something you wonder about, Dave. It is it, it I, is it probably the amount of lard that's in your windpipe right now? <laughs> he doesn't have to wonder about that. No, I, I took I, him I, took him like five minutes to get that sentence out. You know, <gasps> you know. Well, he, no, watch watch what he does later because he has to go into even more in depth explanation than oh, this boy. fucking short allowed for. Yeah, oh, the entire boy. family have to have to go out shopping. I'm sorry, but why can't one of the parents stay home with the kids so I don't have to get annoyed with mom, dad, and their two screaming brats when I'm trying to shop? 
What a fucking selfish fucking first world fucking problem to what? have. Like, what a piddling fucking problem, dude. I know, exactly. I, I can answer it for you, buddy. You see how, like, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about you? Yeah, they're not worried about you. They don't give a shit about what you have going on, my guy. They don't nope. care. They have multiple children. I assure you, they have their work cut out for them. They don't give a fuck what Neckbeard and aisle three over here trying to figure out what he's gonna which bag of chips he's gonna fucking review next. <laughs> also, yeah, the, yeah, Claude Felcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, two dollars Australian. Felcher. Shove the cu- shove the cucumber. Uh Claude Felcher. <laughs> strong name. I like him. That's 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 a great inside joke. It really is. Nice one. Now we're gonna see if he has a great Why must anus? The whole family go to Target. <laughs> Why do it's you not go Disneyland. To it's not a family activity. You're picking up a bottle of Tabasco sauce. You don't need the clan for this one. The clan? Uh, he needs, interesting he needs choice of words. Family. Yeah, a very interesting he, choice of words. Uh, and that's 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 a common thing around yeah. here up in the upper Midwest. You know, bring the clan with. Yeah, we're, they're not talking um, about the Ku Klux Klan. They're talking about the family. So I, Yeah, sure. Wink, yeah. wink, nudge, nudge. I have another short that I believe is actually probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard Dave say in my life. Oh, no. There's no way. That's Are no you hyperbole. Gonna... I Oh, no. That's no hyperbole. You can't narrow that down. Yes, I can. Yeah, uh, yeah you're you're going to have to, you know, yes, wallop us with this one. Would it be too much to ask for, like, specialized flights? Like, let's say, yes. you know, I take a flight and I can smoke, I can drink. We can't do regular uh, flights kids. correctly right now, my guy. Sh- and yeah, if I got to pay out. a premium for that, then that's just fine. Well, yeah. No, I don't get do, why, why I, I can't. They do have why? shit like that. They call it private jets. If you actually get off your ass, become True. successful, get enough money to buy your own fucking airplane, you can do whatever you want. You can run up and down the aisles naked, smoking, drinking, having a good old time. Yeah, but like he Rick wants Flair like on a- that one plane. He wants a commercial fucking airline where everyone can light up a fucking stogie. Like, I'm sure there's no issue with having a bunch of fucking smoke all around the fucking plane. Like, hmm, what issue yeah. could well, possibly okay. well, Electronics love smoke. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. Well here's, yeah. well, here's the thing. Back in the day, like, before I was born, smoking was pretty common on flights, and that meant that this air actually had to circulate so they'd always have fresh air. That don't happen anymore. Cost money so, to circulate air. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. And it costs money to fly, too, but... Yeah. Fly know. on an airplane. If you fill it with nothing but smokers, and yeah, are you going to pay a premium for it? That's that's to be expected, but if I'm willing to pay for it so I can have a cigar on a plane, what's the problem? This is uh, all the content he makes these days. It's like this like type of fucking pedantic fucking bullshit. I was I was gonna say, Dave, the premiums that you pay are also the premiums that you're going to be paying on your insurance when you have mouth cancer. Dude, you can't even fucking pay to have someone to cut your fucking lawn for you, and you think that you can pay for like some type of specialized goddamn flight. And, <laughs> and when the fuck is he ever gonna get on an airplane? This yeah, fucking he never loser. Leaves his fucking chair. Yeah, he never does anything. He, he Dude, get, as far as he goes is to the backyard. Dude, you fucking seen that. He's too fucking lazy to even fucking leave his room for a beer. He has a mini fridge right next to him. And he, he has, has like, nothing going on. No reason to get on a plane. Exactly. Yeah. I, 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 am, I, am, I am perpetually disappointed in the uh, lack of breadth of any fucking opinion that comes out of his mouth. But you're not surprised, right? No, I'm never surprised. It, it would take it would take a fucking miracle from Jesus Christ Himself to be fucking surprised. And that's oh, yeah. that's that's a big tall fucking order. I'm sorry. All right. Well, Shanny Shanny needs apparently Shanny. We're, we're gonna take a table take a look at what some of the that Shanny's been making. Shanny needs love. Yeah, Shanny needs hate. Shanny does need hate, honestly. Shanny needs a wash rag on a stick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She wouldn't uh, use it. <laughs> e. coli water. Right, let's, oh, let's, let's see what this clip here oh. is. It would be when she was done. <laughs> oh, God. Don't. You see how it drops automatically? You... Well, your tits? <laughs> Just pool. Pool internet. Okay. 
pool. No. Pool internet. Pool. Don't go red. Don't go red. No. Yes. Yes. I want green. I don't want red. Damn, what a dumbass. No, I don't want yellow. I don't want red. What? Oh my god. What kind of shoddy internet are you trying to connect to? Uh, god damn it. Shanny, Shanny, you can't pick the colors on a traffic light, okay? Nope. Yeah. Just stable. She's been listening to G-Man's <laughs> advice on how to cross the road. It's something. <laughs> you piece of shit in yeah, the, the motel's free Wi-Fi they advertise on the sign out front is actually from the McDonald's down the road. Why is the password Grimace? Da, 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 da. Right, let's see what this one is. All right. Okay. So, I turn on Negs, and I hear him. I, I, what a weird choice of words. Yeah, yeah that is so weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like what, on. a vibrator or something? I wonder yeah. if he's talking about Miss Hussy again, because usually... Negs is going to talk about Miss Hussy, right? Oh, I think okay, yeah, we already saw that. Yeah. Well, at least we got to see that very interesting choice of words. All right, well, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's it's always see. a treat. Yeah. I hate the internet. I really the internet, the internet hates, hates you. you. <laughs> there you yeah, go, exactly. mud. God damn it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I wish the internet ceased to exist so everyone would stop this bullshit and start getting along with each other. Oh, on. You, no. Can't we all just get along? Each other. Bullshit. I'm going to be, like, streaming. All right, let's see what's next. No, you're not. Your internet's not going to let you. Just stopped a fight among neighbors? Oh, yeah, this is a, this is a good one. All right. Banks. All righty. What the fuck just happened? So. This ought to go on R. That totally happened. We were here in this huge screaming match outside, man. And it's like this one dude. He's like, he's like all <laughs> fucking messed up. Like, it's obvious he's messed up. He's out of his fucking mind. Was it Jason? Screaming at no, him. Jason was the guy next to him asking him where he can and score I, so. I was like, Jason was like, no, baby, you don't go out. Don't go out. Don't go out. I said, I have to. So I went out and went right in between. Jason said, no. Like, arms, like, saying, stop it, brothers. Stop oh, my God. But did you see go that? Look at yeah, yeah look at them arms. Oh, my God. He needs two guys, like, arms, like. With Whoa. arms wide open. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ever the since... smells atrocious. <laughs> Get me out of this place. I feel it all over my face. Oh, God, that's nasty. <laughs> say, stop it, brothers. Stop it. You don't want to go to jail. Hard stop this hard. fight right now. And this dude is like all... <laughs> like, like, ready. Is he the ultimate warrior? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, was what was he doing? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? He was trying to keep from puking from it the smell. I don't know. He's violently gagging. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean you're all worked oh, up. You're I about know. to fight. You're breathing hard. She steps out. He sucks in a lung full. Jesus, fuck man. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I think I, I would be going. Oh my god, my eyes are on fire. <laughs> right in the lung. I just yeah, I just coughed up a lung. <laughs> Holy shit. And even thank God. So, so I broke up a meth head fight I today. Saved my neighbor from being punched, or you know, save someone from being punched and yeah, going to jail. Yeah. My God. I don't believe any of that for one second. Yeah. Nor should I, you. <laughs> my poor little fucking crippled ass coming outside for the first. Excuse time. me, bitch. Did you say little? <laughs> oh yeah. my God. She, she, yeah, little. Uh, biggest misuse of a word ever I've seen. <laughs> compared to a fucking semi with a trailer, just a <laughs> like, I had to do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't be around people fighting like that. You know. I, <laughs> but you're still in a relationship with Riv. I've I've done this between two guys threatening and to punch each other. You know. I remember when I was in the homeless shelter. I went in between two guys. Well, you get I in know. between two oh, guys for an animal. I mean, they're out of fucking range. 
God, I gotta hear that again. Shani went in between two guys at the homeless shelter. <laughs> Shani got spit roasted at the homeless shelter. Oh my God, dude. Oh. In harm's way. In, yeah, with harm's wide open. It's not the first time I've I've done this between two guys. <laughs> That's like, even worse. To punch each other. You know, I remember when I was in the homeless shelter, I went in between two guys. <laughs> just like I was just, all right. All right, next clip, right? Make sure you ain't... listen, Rev. Yeah, you ain't gonna top that. Just yeah. scroll to the next <laughs> oh. one. Damn. All right. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, no, not, no, actually, be, actually. Like, sure. All right. Yeah, let's see. Uh, revenge is for the weak. Oh, my oh, God. I, I, I want to hear this. Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, this is like seven minutes, so we will watch this one first. Jesus blesses the orphans, widows, and poor. Oh, God. Oh, is this the one where she claims they're orphans? Blessed all the cheesemakers. <laughs> Maybe. Even better. Blessed are the big Thank noses. God. Blessed are all the chins. But Chantel, booty beauty, and all these the people ain't gonna stop armful. doing this to you. Arms They're not gonna stop. The it's crevasses. Very, like, okay. Most people in this world, no matter what religion you're in, knows Work. we're at the end of days, okay? We're at the end of it. Okay, all our prophecies have come true and blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a lot of shit. Cite them. So... Oh my god, she's we drinking know it's the time at the end. Fucking peasant water? I yeah. never thought I'd see her do that. Wow. Yeah, she called that peasant water at one point, you know? I like to How's that E. coli like... taste? Damn, that's I guess we're in harm's way now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like Oh shit. Oh shit, I went back too far. Alright, it's alright though. I can go back too far. I'm gonna be like streaming. Oh, shut the fuck up, jeez. You're not, Shani. Yeah, I know. We, we've had to hear that like five fucking times at this point. Um, all right, yeah, let's see. Let's see this fucking revenge just for the weak shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for that last one. I I did not know. I was muted. Um. She's gotten quite a bit bigger since she started starving. Uh, yeah, somehow. Not only know how that makes sense, but hmm. All right, uh, two dollars from Mo. New phone. Who dis? Are they currently homeless? Uh, not not this morning. They weren't. No, nope, I don't believe so. Thank you for the two dollars, though. Uh, so I'm gonna do a second take on this. Um, uh, the internet sucks so bad here. Pay for some then. Yeah, Go buy some. Money everything there's there's nothing she's literally a beggar being a chooser <laughs> yep exactly yep. um <clears throat> of all, wait did you hear jason try to speak up there good <laughs> <laughs> shut up bitch he had that he had that random spasm yep i heard about grampy lobster and i'm really sorry about i don't want to hear what you have to say about grampy um, he's a very yeah your opinions are relevant i don't care if you have nice things to say or not it's yeah, irrelevant season changes um i very much start aching a lot more and and being in a lot more pain um all right of course she's moved on to her own fucking bullshit of yeah uh, yeah not a surprise oh woe is me to the main focus of the video me is for the week um revenge is a thing that people do when they feel like they're so hurt they have to go after the other person oh my i hate when she tries to be poetic and like yeah. smart this, and this is this is just you know pretentious it's bullshit. it's trite it's really yeah, exactly trite. yeah that's a good way to put it yeah it's really just fucking I don't know what other words to fucking describe it as other than that. Yeah. Well, Shani, like when the roles were reversed, would you? Do you think it was revenge whenever you kicked G Man out and <laughs> into the uh, fucking blizzard uh, yep. over a disagreement over a, a guy who portrays Jesus on Patreon? Exactly. Was that vengeance? Was that was that you taking your revenge? 
she's tried to take revenge on people countless times. Every time that she's gotten the opportunity, she's tried to take revenge, and it really works. Uh, like, when's the last time anything has really fucking worked out for Shani? Like, I mean, well, she's not homeless yet, so. She I mean, did. other than that, yeah. There's that one time she found a half wit with money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's a long time ago at this point. She she hasn't yeah. found a new hustle. Yeah, man. Fucking Uber Eats is expensive. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine like fucking Uber? Like, oh, they were they were burning through at least twelve, fifteen hundred bucks a week on fucking DoorDash easy. and Uber Eats. I, easy. They were dropping seventy five to a hundred per meal four or five times a day every fucking day. Uh five dollar reduce from Mo. Uh define paradox. Shani refusing to get a job while demanding Rev get a job, but she won't let Rev work that job because she's <laughs> afraid he'll cheat. It's all true. Is that it's really all true? true? I didn't yes. know that last part was true. Yes. Oh yeah. I, I say that's why they quote can't get anything on EBT because she can't move and she won't allow Rev to go across the street to the Dollar General. Damn. Uh, yeah, any anytime he's out of uh, arm's reach of her, he's arm. fucking around. Uh, why, oh girl? Uh, I did love hearing G-Man imitate Rev's laugh. I've not heard that. Thank you for the two dollars. Oh, it's yeah. great. Damn. Yeah, I'll have to. Someone will have to link me that at some point because I don't really want to want to hear that fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. And and I've learned in my life that revenge is 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 for the weak minded. Revenge is for people who. Like you, so, like you, yeah. I was just gonna say that <laughs> shit. So she's like not the exact wrong. fucking person that she's talking about. Yeah. Don't trust God that He will take vengeance upon. You know, it says in the Bible that God says that vengeance is mine; I will repay. Spooky language. It's spooky, spooky language. language. Yep, just to get people to fall in line. God. And 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 don't believe in his power to straighten things out. Um, God's vengeance is different than man's vengeance. Man's All right, she's boring. To get one yeah. She's boring. Yeah, she's giving me the, the big old fucking snooze. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of enjoying God's vengeance on you right now. Yeah, me too. That's pretty like, funny. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty entertaining. I'm a too. fan. Uh, yeah, let's see what's out. What else we got here? Da, 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 da. Let's go out to the lobby live from Burbank. All right, uh, hey, it might somebody got it. It might be a bit of a shorter show because I don't, I really only have like one more thing that I, I want to show off. But um, oh, shit. yeah, yeah, uh, one more thing, yeah, one, one more thing, yeah, we got one more thing. And uh, cause yeah, cause remember that fucking short I showed you of Dave complaining about how he hates fucking families. Oh right. boy! Well, he really hates families because he made a four-minute video extended edition talking about how much he hates fucking families. Well, it's a good thing he's not a part of one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, exactly. All right, the, yeah, the, here it is. Oh the, god, the, the smoking pants. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He does wear the same pants every time. Yeah, that's true. And the fucking Soy Story fucking t-shirt. Oh, shit, oh my his pants God. changed. Yeah. That lawn hasn't been mowed since yeah. June. Haven't we had enough of this shit? When is this going to end? <laughs> what, children in stores? <laughs> what? Keep is them little fuckers on the stores. Is this really his third video bitching about children being present in, in the general public? Yes. Where? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait, hang on a minute here. I might end up agreeing with this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, good luck. And out of your left ear, you have an ice pick being drilled into it because there's because some you're in the movie Basic cool Instinct or having a meltdown, <laughs> and nothing can be done about it. I mean, I certainly can't go and stuff a sock in the little man's mouth, which is what I prefer to do. No comment. I'm really glad he enunciated the fuck out of that S and sock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that was... Another culprit in this matter. 
Can I slap the mom at least? No. What? Why not the dad? Oh What's my wrong god! With that? What, hey, 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 hold up, hold up. In, in the name, in the name of equity, if you decide to slap some random woman because her, her kids are being loud, she should be able to backhand you like the fucking re reject that you are. Yeah, exactly. You fucking fat bastard, dude. Just shut the fuck up trying Jeez. to tell other people how to conduct their lives. You can't even You're fucking mow your own lawn. Like, wearing the same goddamn Seinfeld shirt. Dude, it's not 1995 anymore. Dress yeah. dress in the era in which you live, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Mow your lawn, bucko. Because <laughs> she's sitting there still wondering what sort of frozen lasagna to bring home for dinner that night. Are you going to review it? Well, her kid is having a <laughs> meltdown. You know, as much as I do, a good one, yeah. I do want to blame the kid, and I really do. Hey, Ma, your kid's having a meltdown. Could you do something about it? Anything at that. all? Yeah, no, he's just going to sit there and fucking whine about it on YouTube hours later because he's, right. he, he's all talk and no action like That's a the lot thing. of people. He, he's talking about slapping some mother when he doesn't even have the balls to walk up to them and, and say what he just said. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure hey, he does. He does have a point. Keep them little fucking cum tumors in line. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I would backhand the mother. I would kick the father in the nuts <laughs> so he could no longer pollute the universe. And there'd be an end of it. I'm surprised he didn't write this rant down. Yeah. yeah he has I'm his papers. Over, well, he has his papers over here, but he's not reading off. He of does. Them. Oh, he memorized this one. Damn. I know. I don't care if you think he's. Did you he hear my criticism too much that he reads like a fucking schlub off his goddamn fucking papers? Yeah, have you seen his handwriting? Like when the sun reflects it? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's the paper? I've, I've never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> oh, it's, I've or, seen it. It's it's absolutely terrible. You notice that when watching him long enough. Or, it's like uh, fifth grade level writing. Or it's acting hard. out his feelings or whatever stupid new age hippie bullshit you want to put on. Having feelings is new age hippie bullshit. That's great. You know, when I was a kid... Yeah, like, his I, family is really I, happy, I you know? His kids were well-behaved. And if I really did have a problem, once she had gotten me calmed down, then she'd actually listen to my problem. Dude, what makes you think you could take care of a kid? You can't even take care of a goddamn lawn. Dude, can you imagine <laughs> this guy being your dad? Oh, God, I'd leave immediately. And if I couldn't be calmed... <laughs> yeah, dude. So what's the emancipation man. process? Now, then we left the store. Long pause. This is what happens when he doesn't write it down on the shitty fucking piece of paper. Actually, he's like, <laughs> I, I was I was gonna say I was gonna say pregnant pause because Dave's looking like he's past due. Is he gonna pick up the paper? <sighs> Damn. But he's I'm got like a little baby. face on his shirt oh, and the oh, belly button's the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. That's gross. Oh. In this hell. day and age, if a kid has a meltdown, the parent profusely apologizes to the child. Uh, where? I don't know. I don't know if we were raised differently or what, but I'm getting to the point of, can we start having some adult-only hours in schools uh, for the love of all that is holy? Yeah, so that you... tired of every time I go into Dave. Target. Look, he's having some piss water, some Budweiser. Uh, no, I, I was... I was, I, Yeah, that's, that's another thing I'll, I'll probably... Uh, Pitch and yeah. fit over, but Dave, Dave, I, I, I want to make something really clear to you. The adult only hours are from like twelve to four in the morning. <laughs> okay, okay. Twelve to four in the morning. Walmart, Go there. Whatever. Name the name the goddamn store. <clears throat> and I gotta hear some kid screaming his fucking head off. Yeah, it, it kind of ruins the shopping. This doesn't happen to me nearly as much as I think it happens to Dave, apparently. And yeah, Dave, made, enough to make fucking three videos on it, yeah. And Dave loves his shopping. Yeah. Furthermore, furthermore, I'm gonna go one bit I'm gonna go one bit better. This probably this probably wouldn't have been long enough to be its own little thing. But can we have adult only flights, please? I don't care He's if I got back on this again. When was the last motherfucking time he was on an airplane? He already made a video on this shit. I know. I'll pay an extra 20 bucks. 
if I have a flight that is free... wait for an extra twenty bucks. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that's next... the premium price. What? Yeah. Oh my god, what a this, dumbass! This, this guy hasn't had a charitable thought since Saint Swithin's day. That's how you know he's never been on a flight in a long time. Yeah, twenty dollars is premium fare. Twenty dollars that'll get you all the way to Hawaii. In 1940, they don't know what's going on. They can't handle the barometric pressure change. You don't want to be there. In the, never mind. Whatever it is, <laughs> and they scream and they cry and they kick the back of the seat. And can we just please, for the love of God, have adult-only flights, or at least have that option? No. Yeah, you may love your kid a whole lot. Guess what? I want to strangle him. Why? Because he's been crying the next Just casually admitting to wanting to kill the children live on the fucking internet. And assault the mother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. I'm well, gonna well, slap the mom and choke the child. I can't get to sleep. I know. I don't care what his little problems are. <laughs> wow. What, oh what, what, a, what a what a of human fucking feeling wafting what an off standing this. individual. So yeah. like he wow. doesn't care if it's like a special needs kid. He's still gonna slap the mom and choke the child. Yeah, he doesn't care how special the needs are. Nope. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit. He's got a Seinfeld shirt on. He'll get away with it. I mean, I've already done this with cruises. There are adult only cruises. <laughs> Once again. When's the last time you were on a cruise? Again, I understand it. Families need to fly sometime, but I think I'd like a little segregation in this. Oh, <laughs> that God is damn the it. worst choice of fucking words you could have said. <laughs> oh no! I'd like a little segregation. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking All right. shit, Holy shit dude. Jesus! That damn. that that may have to be a super chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might have to be a. Super oh chat. my God, Dave. Wow. This fucker sits in his unkempt backyard and utters that. That's what falls out of his fucking face. Uh, and he uploads it onto the internet. On the plus side, though, the seasons have changed enough so that he's no longer leaving his beer sitting in the fucking sun. <laughs> right. As if that Budweiser ain't bad enough. Leave it sitting in the sun for 20 minutes while you film yourself doing your dumb fuck rant. It's going to be real tasty. Mm. Rice Gonna get all beer. tied up in that cigar. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh my God. All right. Well, there's one more thing we could play. Oh okay. shit! There's bonus themes. All right. Right. Bonus themes. There's one more thing, and it's someone saying something ridiculous. It's not someone we usually play on this fucking show. Uh, it's Nick Fuentes. Oh uh, God. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, call, calling for a revolution. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a quick look at it. It's it's what he has to say is pretty fucking ridiculous. So it's worth a quick look. Then we'll wrap this shit up. We need to raise an army. <laughs> look at that fucking pumpkin right next to him, dude. <laughs> He's in the Halloween spirit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah dude. this guy's face just makes me chuckle yeah. <laughs> every time you know I see what? it. You know what? I might be more prone to being amenable if the pumpkin was dropped on his fucking head. Yeah, that'd be great. And soldiers, not an army of pussies that have the right opinions. We need to raise an army of soldiers. And if you're meek, like this little cunt could ever get in the fucking right. military. Yeah, exactly. This like fucking the, fruit bowl. This guy's the definition of a weak ass loser. Like he's never been to the gym once in his life. You would. You need to hit the bricks. Because it's finished. That movement is dead. And this is my mission. This is my mission. Dad. And I'm announcing yeah. it early. My mission for 2024 is to raise an army of at least 1,000 Groypers that will infiltrate. What? what? Gropers? Gropers? Oh, Groypers. They, they're, they're. I'll let you carry it. Do it. Uh, Groypers are basically like the people who started ripping off. All the Pepe memes, and it's just a fat frog, and he's it, oh, uh, hey, yeah. Nick Fuentes fanboys. Oh, yeah. God. gotcha. Yeah. And, and if you want to be a groper, you can't masturbate. Administration. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. Are they into like the whole semen retention thing? Oh, God. Yeah. Yep. Jesus yeah. fucking yeah, Christ. They're going to be retaining it for the rest of their life if they're a fucking fan of Nick Fuentes. Yeah. To work 
Unless they ever meet him, and then some may involuntarily come out. <laughs> the show and the movement going forward. People ask, what are we doing? And in the midterms, we feel the candidates and things like that. I've recognized my role. I've got an audience of young people. You're a clown. Yeah. Oh. You're, you're revving a suit. And I've got an audience. <laughs> dude, he just called him, wait, did you hear that? He just called himself a fucking role model, dude. <laughs> I'm respected. I'm a role model. <laughs> yeah. Okay, buddy. That's yeah, the yeah, right. That's the most congratulatory shit I've heard all night, and we just played a Shanty video. That like, and a dollar fifty will get you on the fucking bus there, Nick. And I've got an audience. Twenty dollar premium ticket. Ellis Christian American <laughs> Patriots. My exclusive mission in the next two years is to get as many of them as possible. And so wait, and, vetted, and then have an orgy. Fortified, yeah. tested. And plug them in to Washington, D.C. or various Washington. other institutions. <laughs> plug them into Capitol Hill. Plug them into the White House. And to go yeah, to just keep plugging them. Making real advances <laughs> in this political struggle. And it's our job to create an entire generation, a true movement, a cadre of 50,000 people to take over the government and create a last <laughs> MAGA institution. What? You couldn't get 50 people to take over the fucking government. Exactly. You, yeah. Yeah. you guys tried this already, remember? It didn't so work I, out so, so well. Yeah. I want you guys to go out and do the actual work while I sit here and do nothing. I'll yeah. tell you what to do. I'll be your role model. <laughs> wow, a real role model. Yeah, not willing to do what he actually fucking says. Or with the vengeance. <laughs> Not care what the media says. Not care what your friends and family say. Not care what anybody says. It's got to be Trump 2024. Make America great again or else. Why? Or else. Jesus. Like, or else we'll here, throw here's, here's my question. Like, cite specifically the policies that you were a fan of during Trump's term. He looks like and, he's and why exactly you'd like to see him back in office. I, I, I'm very eager to hear that. Like his last name's Trump. Anyway, look at look at his fucking face. Like he's looking like he's yeah. taking a fucking dome play. Well, that's what happened. He is. You haven't had a nut since you were born. Yeah. At any cost. Why does my <laughs> prostate burn? Something's <laughs> on there of we will take up the cross and be willing to be crucified for what we're doing. And our okay, little Nikki, pave the way for a new generation, a new country. That's it. Right wing crotch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Steer away from those. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So he's this still guy. garbage. That's nice. I haven't seen anything from him in, in quite a while. So yeah, yeah. It's he's good to see garbage. he's still trash. He's even worse than before, probably. Um, but all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess that's a fucking show. A little bit earlier than usual, but hey, you know, at least uh, it was <laughs> it was this, or we, I guess we didn't have one at all. So. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough with uh, what we put together. There was some interesting, some funny shit that, that we got. To it was work. still a show for the people. Yeah, it was a show yes. for the people. It was, it was a good time. No alcohol. Continue on with your show. With your show for your people. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what an <laughs> evil woman. Anyway. um. What? Oh, wait, what? Uh, yeah, anyway, Muddy, yeah, any, any final things you want to say before we wrap this shit up? Yeah. If you go out in public with your kids, keep them little fuckers in line. Just because Lop there doesn't have balls enough to backhand you doesn't mean I don't. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. Damn, a warning from Mud. All right. All right. Hian, any last things you want to say before we wrap this shit up? <clears throat> I need a tap and die and some WD-40. All right, Hank. Whatever the fuck you say. All right. <laughs> all right. I'll, um, yeah, yeah. Brand, Brand, you can uh, you know, just say the fucking, say your spiel. Yeah, say your fucking spiel. Pocket sand. Wingo. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And he's gone. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. So um yeah, before we wrap this shit up, you know, uh, you know, I want, you know, we, we talked we, we talked about it last night, but I do want to, you know, give some uh some words. You know, Grandpa Lobster passed away recently. He was a great guy and a great part of this fucking show. A fucking awesome dude who was on here all the fucking time and we had so many good stories to talk about. There's so many fucking good fucking stories about fucking about Grampy. So yeah, but we're gonna keep this show going. We're gonna keep it going because you know I think we all we all feel like that's kind of what Grampy would want to keep the laughs continuing continuing and all that shit. So 
We're going to continue on the show for the fucking people. And uh, if you guys like this shit, drop a fucking like, you know, I'll do all the fucking shit that you guys do. And thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for all the love for Grampy in the chat. I see all the fucking people giving love for Grampy. And I'm glad to see it because, you know, he was a great dick. He was such a great fucking dude. But, uh, yeah, you guys have a great fucking night. You guys have a, a, a fantastic fucking evening. And thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.